So today I want to cover how for one of our done for you clients, how we created a new webinar event series. Um, we launched last week and did the first one in the first campaign. Um, we did zero ad spend over 200 registered and who was registered. We're also business owners doing over seven figures. Uh, we did that all in under one week with no paid ads, as I mentioned, and with just a week of prep. Now we've actually turned this into a series, which was actually the, the, the beginning you know, plan from the get go. So it's not like any of that's changed, but obviously prepping the first event and getting people there in under a week um, to do so effectively and get a couple hundred ideal clients on the call. Uh, took a very specific strategy, but it was also very simple. It was three steps and, you know, three, three real resources we created. And I just want to give you everything here you need for that. Um, so I'll run through all of that and you may want to, you know, I, I didn't put all the copy to all the stuff in here. I'm going to share it with you and you can, you know, pause your screen. If you want the actual copy, reach back out to me, uh, if you want to be that specific, but let's go through the strategy and the execution and implementation. Cause that's what really matters. So number one there as I mentioned, the data and targeting, right? So within this particular offer, for instance, this is a company called Federal Contracting Advisors. They are, um, you know, targeting small businesses, you know, doing over seven figures a year, but still smaller businesses that are either looking to or already in the federal marketplace, right? They're trying to land federal contracts and federal awards. We all know the U.S. federal government is the biggest uh, customer out there with how much money they spend. And what we do in this offer really wows them and shows them the simple path to become competitive and land some of those large lucrative contracts, right? So within the government market, as, as with anything, I mean, you could do this in real estate markets and in insurance markets. There's certain codes, certain um, lingo, certain things you could search for. So within the data and targeting, we're searching by certain cage codes by SAM registration. SAM.gov is the main um, platform where people are registering through a platform called SBA.gov, right? A small business administration and looking into people that are getting their NAICS code. So there's certain codes and certain um, identifiers that we can easily hit. And then we can target business uh, by revenue, by volume, by clients, by targeting location, all that stuff. Location doesn't matter when we're doing um, a webinar in particular, right? Uh, obviously people can attend from anywhere. So there, there's certain parameters that we we would look at, but we pulled data um, for some of this and we just had very ideal dialed in targeting. And then we went two ways. We went one cold or email for any of the people in this data and this targeting and this lead list that we've created. Um, we've called email and I'll show you the copy we used and then re-engagement from any of our warm audience with some simple SMS campaigns. And there wasn't a lot of volume there, but we did see some results from there and it was really, really good. So the cold email copy, for instance, in this case looks like this. So um, the subject line was welcome to the federal foundations, or was that even the subject line? I might have a different subject line. Either way, um, the copy was simply you know, what you see on my screen. Welcome to the federal foundation foundation insights, a webinar series designed to be your beacon and vast expanse in the vast expanse of the federal marketplace. Dive deep into the intricacies of the intricacies of the federal market. Yada, yada, yada. Again, email copy, right? Key takeaways. So we give the kind of five things that you can expect. Um, so if you envisage your business as a Titan in the federal market, and our webinars are your weekly pit stop. Uh, our webinars are your weekly pit stop. Remember, knowledge is continual. And so our webinars, make sure to sign up and consistently fuel your journey toward building, uh, toward federal contract supremacy, right? Webistration, web webinar registration link. Obviously, the call to action needs to be in everything we do. Simple. And then a sneak peek at what to expect. So we uh, created also, I didn't put this in the resources. This isn't necessary, but this is something extra we had. And we had the ability to create branded nicely. But there's a little overview of what to expect. The Federal Foundation's Insights uh, Weekly Western weekly mastermind webinar, uh, elevate your federal contracting journey. So that's kind of the copy that went in. It was very simple email campaign. We targeted who we want to go to a few hundred um, businesses looking to get or already, you know, in the federal market. There's a lot of people trying to get in the federal market or in the federal market, a lot of businesses that might have done their registration or have their profiles are in the system. But 90% of them, 80% of them have never actually landed a contract or an award or earned revenue from that. And that's what we're showing them. And we're showing them how to compete, how to become um, efficient, effective, and lucrative in the federal marketplace. So that's kind of what the offer does, right? Um, in terms of, let's bring up the re-engagement uh, copy and outreach. So... On this screen, this is a simple one, and this is one I sent out. I sent out um, within my my within our CRM. We use this as our auto dialer and our SMS um, tool, right? As our as our software. So I just reach out to people. Hey, Antonio, I know it's been a couple of weeks, you know, since we last spoke. Basically, my team just decided they were opening up this high level event to anyone in our ecosystem, and I thought it'd like to be a value to you. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy and benefit from this. Yes, it's free with a little emoji, right? 
Um, our internal team of federal contracting experts, data scientists, uh, former contracting government, uh, former contract officer, government contract acquisition specialist, etc. We're hosting a live event on the date and the time. I thought you might want to block off that time accordingly to attend. Here's the link if you're interested. Hope you're well, Antonio. Oh, and check your email for a more in-depth explanation. So for me, that cold email that my team already created, I went and sent that additionally because I wasn't putting the five things to expect and yada, yada, yada. This is an SMS that already went long, but it still got the point across. And of course, the, the quick reply I sent to him Friday at 10, Friday at 10.01, he replied. So that's when you know you have a message that works. It gets to him initially and it gets a reply. Thanks a lot. I will take advantage. I was on the webinar and I know for a fact Antonio attended. He actually engaged and commented and, and participated. So this is just somebody from our CRM, right, that we had a call with or we were engagement engaged with a few weeks back. Um, and then I just tried to re-engage him and deliver value to him, right, and then put a call to action in there and boom, boom, boom. So again, this isn't an overcomplicated process in terms of, you know, I think a lot of people overthink this. We just really get down to what will work, what will work quickly, how can we pull this off and what's the minimum steps and assets we need to create. And what we, all we really created outside of that additional, you know, promo YouTube video, which again, no need to, no, definitely not required, uh, but it was helpful. But you definitely need a webinar registration page and link. You need email copy that's gonna convert and you need, um, you know, SMS copy that's gonna convert. So that's all we really did. And I'll show you the screenshot, um, anybody that I'm probably sending this to for this week's webinar. Uh, again, we're doing a series for this week's webinar. Again, just off email campaigns. We don't really have a warm audience to engage again. Once you engage them once in an email, I'm in mean, a webinar series, you can only engage them once um, if they enroll. I can touch, we can reach back out to them and still do a little more of that. But primarily that warm audience in the SMS, if you're doing a series, is going to come from the first one. And then, yeah, you can still get people in occasionally, especially new people that we talk to going forward. But anybody outside your, and, and you can do a refresh last one, right, a month or two weeks later. Hey, I noticed you didn't join the webinar series yet. We've done a couple or three. And here's some of the feedback. Um, feel free to continue the series if you're still serious about landing government awards, right? So I'll do a follow-up on that in a couple of weeks. Um, but let me just bring it up. I just had a screenshot of it and I will share it with whoever, again, I'm sending this to. Um, but for this week's webinar series, again, just via cold email, we have currently, and again, that was uh, 1145. So this is about six hours ago. We had 185 already registered for this week's meeting on Wednesday. So that's kind of an overview of the simple steps that we take, um, what needed to be created, the copy we used, and the targeting and the data and how we found those people. Hopefully that's helpful. And let me know if you have any questions or there's anything else I can help you with on this.